Hello, welcome back to Banner Saga. Volka called it, when the warped came, they came hard. There's no doubt anymore that Volvak has some kind of command over them. Volka comes stomping toward you and you know, flicking smoldering black ash from her shield. Doesn't look happy. Let's get something straight, you know. You drag us out here as captives, and now Bulwark's trying to hunt us down and kill us. Do you see how messed up this is? And back there, you try to give my ravens orders. Tell me again when we are allowed to rest. Go on, say it to my face. Volka has a point. This expression betrays no emotion. What would you recommend, Volka? Oh no, don't you dare pretend to be the reasonable one right now. Steam plums from Volka's nostrils like an angry ox, swirling through the cold air. I don't even want to hear your voice! The ravens are under my command, and if you want anyone watching your back instead of putting a knife... What if I ever spoke on my behalf? You know what? That sounds like a great idea! Wait, what? <laughs> If it ends in this bickering, I'll take charge. Let's just hope she has the decency to sit out of your head. Sure. The guard stone ahead shimmers. It seems to hold some sway over the darkness somehow. Or maybe the darkness itself finds them distasteful. The golden glow greets you, the first warmth you've felt since entering the darkness. The shell of women and children huddle on the one side of the godstone, while the ridge sits on the other. The ridge has arranged a circle of obsidian stones around itself, and just outside that lie the bodies of a couple of men. Ain't this a sight, Oli grins. Thank you, Franz. I have a feeling this is about to become a problem. Probably. Praise the god, someone has finally come carrying a divine light. Not exactly. I met my only woman's face falls so as she gets a better look at you. I know the crest, that crest, ravens. Points with an accusing, shaking finger towards the song singer. W what is this? Have you brought more tricks to slaughter us? The stonehound. Stone hurler stands within its ring of stones, rumbling loudly as you approach the godstone. The old woman recalls in disgust. Well, how interesting. And this one is terrified of you, Ivor. Me? Why? She called you Destroyer. I would heard of the Destroyer before. But I had no idea I was traveling with him. Is it really you? They speak of you like we do below her. Thought you'd be bigger. It's a misunderstanding. Where would you hear such a thing? Traveling with a Valka, but you do not but you do not know where we headed. You're an interesting one, Ivor. Talk more. The old woman rejoins you again after a heated battle of whispers of her kin. She clears her throat. I'm called Hilda. We came here to pray when the sky is darkened. I guess I don't need to tell you we're only alive now because of this godstone. A miracle! And they say the gods are dead. Then the slack comes from nowhere. It attacks us. Killed their husbands and mine as well. Hey, alright, Mr. Brosso. So sucker, he was, but an injustice to be killed by this thing. She gestures furtly at the stone crawler, makes a hissing sound like escaping steam. Quite filthy! You'll take us somewhere safe, surely? Surely you will. How was it? You don't want to go where we're going. Got to life, has everyone lost their minds? At least give us justice! Don't leave this sack alive to kill us and eat our children. Alfrun, what's the dredge side of the story? You love the bristles at the implication. Alfrun taps her spear and the horns vibrate with a faint hum. 
bitch thinks a self response. She says they left her no choice but to defend herself. Stuck like here, same as them. It's because we've been found by the only slug lovers in the dying world. She snatches something shiny from the hands of one of her kin, waving in front of you. This is what the ravens need, isn't it? You disgusting vultures. How many are alone worth more than it looks? I say we just bring the stone horror along with us. I heard I mean we've already got one. You said it was terrified of me. Then she won't put up much of a struggle, will she? What are you talking about? Kill it already! Kill it! Convince the stone horror to come along. Alfred speaks of to the church again. It shows little emotion, but that may just be because it lacks fi facial expression. Quite the monthly crew you've gathered, destroyer. Don't call me that. I'm serious. Hilda pockets her heirloom, offering only low curses, angry that the dredge lives on. True. Yes, uh, that their soul circle was there for a reason. Alfron finds a quiet moment to make her way over to you, leaning on her staff. Why didn't you tell me, Varro? Tell you what? About being the destroyer! Isn't something that comes up often in conversation. You'll have to excuse me, I don't always know how to speak with people. I spend a lot of time alone, or with the sculptors. Sculptors? But more precisely, they say something like, we who shape the stone, but it's close enough. You didn't think the dredge called them the dredge, did you? There's quite a lot I've learned from them. Some things you may know, many secrets. Of. Okay, how did you learn mending out here on your own? Mending? <laughs> Call it what it is, we pluck at the threads of reality. Almost anyone can see them, if you know how to look. How do you think for... Who do you think were the teachers? The gods? And who taught the gods? Even godly are gods? Anyway, you see my point. Don't think so highly of your mentor friends. They're more dangerous than they let on. Than they let on. How do you mean? I tried to be a mentor when I was just a girl. They tried to kill me, believe it or not. The brawler right there was the one, the one sent to do it. It points to the figure of Percy snoozing on the hard ground. I don't think he ever remembers me. It looked, I looked a little different back then. They escaped. Not before learning some things. He trained our simple-minded mentors to heal, stop dolls, and raise walls. To find distraction from the powers of Valka. Really weird. But even the apprentice doesn't have the skill to control the powers. They are a threat to the mentor's reputation. And if you show them, show too much skill, well, you're an even bigger threat. The sculptors see you as an ally? You all need to stop looking at the thing as us and them. Some of them are friends, others are not. The same as any people anywhere. She calls her dredge ally to join you. Kivi is one of the new breed. He's a diplomat, like me. New? The first dredge were all made by a real bastard of a god to kill and to destroy. But they learned to make their own kind. A second generation of sculptors who see a different fate. They can try and change Raw, and even the first dredge can see this change. There was even a Sundr, time, who could echo any sound and any language. She spoke for the new generations of dredge. Time wanted a peaceful resolution. He turned back the darkness and saved them. He was killed at Grafheim in the Calamity. By our own kind. We decided to carry on her mission. Kivi knows his head slowly and makes a low tone. He says he has no hatred of you either, and no fear. What kind of secrets are you talking about? What? For nothing, I'm... I'm nothing if not a trade of knowledge, you know. The rarest secrets don't come cheap. How about this? In exchange for telling me how you became the destroyer, I'll tell you something you may find quite important. What do you say? Yeah, if you promise to keep it to yourself. I do. The center I killed. Rice. 
It was no legendary battle. When I brought her head back to the other world, they invented their own stories. The truth is I got separated from my allies and found her out in the snowstorm, alone. She was cradling an infant. My axe accidentally killed the child. We didn't even put up a fight after that. Indeed, it was Bellower's child, Ivor. Okay, are you certain? Completely. Consider that our trade. There is more to tell. Another time, maybe. We should be going soon. After you. Just one more thing. Often looks at you with curiosity. Are those four horns on your staff? Often laughs with genuine mirth. Nothing to worry about, Ivor. They were a gift that I treasure very much. You see, I have friends of all sorts. But as you said, we should be going. Another story for another time, perhaps. You notice Folka standing alone, arms crossed, sporting a deadly scrow. Moving alright? Yeah, we're doing great. Ali, they're setting us down, we've been kidnapped by witches, and now we're arguing about how many judge we can save along the way. It's the kind of thing a little girl grows up dreaming about. I get your point. She glares at you through narrow eyes. How did a woman get accepted by the Ravens anyway? Is this the part where you ask me about my past? We talk about family and hug? It's on Black Snowball. These guys are all chose to be here, just like me. That's the truth. That's all the family you need to know about. Considering you didn't even mention family, you doubt that she that's the whole story, but you let it drop. You still care about Woolwork. Are you trying to piss me off? Imagine Alet hunting you through the darkness, trying to rip your throat out. Now imagine some arse accuses you of having feelings about it. You notice Folka's hands instinctively go to the axe Wolverk have thrown at a wind after this back. What do you plan to do with that axe? Its name is Claw, and what I plan to do with it is my business. And we are agreed to keep it tucked away. If the sight of it scares you, then yes, I'll keep it safe and snug right here. I'm not suicidal, Ivor. I'm not going to plant it in Valka's skull. Not right now. Are you always this pleasant to be around? I never asked to be around you. I always heard of all like their space. You're not wrong. Must be nice to be accepted for something like that. I can't treat you like you're diseased if you don't act right, but the ravens? They don't judge. It's not like I want to be completely alone. I just don't need tedious, pointless conversations that with every idiot has an idiot opinion. Go on. Oh, damn it all. You caught me talking about my... Are we done here? We should keep moving. <laughs> I get why you came over now. You're not ready to go. No, I came on my own. You know, I used to be great at telling when someone's lying, but it sure is harder these days, isn't it? You know what I mean? Let's get something straight. I'll take talking to you over Juno, but you're no raven. And whatever happened to Bulvek, I'm not convinced that he doesn't have a good reason for what he's doing. So don't give me a reason to let him, and don't Try to get close and friendly. Take it easy. I don't like this any more than you do. Take it easy! That's not part of the job! Bad things happen when I let my guard down. Now excuse me while I gather my unkindness. Unkindness? That's what they call a flock of ravens, Ivor. Really. Now let's leave. And the stone singling appeared on the end of a caravan. Oh, that's so nice. He's there. Does it worry anyone else that they're somehow getting ahead of us? As Volga. What once was a hill has been twisted into a thin strip of land pulled long like spiral silk. A steep drop beneath 
warped shamble back and forth across it, but Ulrich is nowhere inside. They don't need rest, Falcon realized with each other. Ulrich can confront us directly and follow the vocal leave. He's going to find the heart all the way to Rage Horn. Yeah, it's exactly what we do, isn't it? Hate it. Um, okay, let's ask Falka's advice. If it were us, we'd lure them across, lay archers to hit them from the wings, while spears come up to fill their retreat. Something tells me the warp that can't cut in like ravens, though. But what about Wolfric could do with a bunch of drunk idiots? All commoters and things for a while. We would make it look like a trap, so we try to get fancy. My god says we just rush it. Oh, he has already drawn an axe. Sure. Nobody stops until we're across. The ravens advance quickly, the warp are slow to respond. Slingers! shouts Volk, and nothing worked. Dredge hiding just over the ridge. Russian! And I'll... I'll take you... Instead of a wind. With additional points, you are maxed out. Hmm. I want you to do the puncture. The title. It's only then, sure. We have a heroic title. Actually, yeah. Because you won't be. <laughs> Sorry, but I like so much. I'll give you. Um, not. strength and you you Falka the Alfred uh, nope skills oh she can heal Wait. damn it Bonus strength damage when stationary. Plus one break plus two will talents. Oh no. <laughs> Definitely not. Eh. Don't think there are. Sure. For the lack of better equipment you'll be given <laughs> great chance. That could have gone worse. Mm. I hoped you would go first. Yeah. I don't like that. He trains more? No. He trains. He trains health. Get here anyway, so, so uh, yeah. How close we need to get to hit some wall. Let's try strength damage and all exertion first movement and oh yes. 
that's Shatterstone Bomb is from exploding in a five tile area immedi immediately. Oh, he has a professional sling! I know. to get the house off there. Okay, he doesn't have any... This, they don't have any... No, they... Sometimes I don't get it. They were supposed to... We're supposed to... Hmm. I don't want him getting closer, but I don't... Who's next? This guy is next. Get up, get up it. Mm. I've not wanted to scratch the full with spear spears. Oh, target can us. Wait, I can do that? I I don't understand how that's supposed to work. Yes, I want to do this, but I can't. I want to do this, I can't. How does it work? Alpha Mortis has a forward with spear set, builds one strength and plus one pull. There are two battles jump target and, and I can't use it on any. Eh. No, you can't use this on yourself. Uh. I guess you'll just attack him. Hit him, hit him hard. That's not what I had in mind, exactly. Though it works, worked out. Kind of worked out. Oh, you know, that's not so bad. That's a bit, a little bit worse. The bear will go over there. Mm. Maybe you should go over there as well. Just to keep the bear. my turn. Uh. That will hit four of those guys. Would you rather hit bear or effing? That's more else. Oh, there's oh, there's one guy. Is there one guy over here? Oh, 
that should be fine yep. yes do this please something He can't beat him when he's next. He's like an archer. He's like an archer. Okay. This time the world seemed even more organized than last time. I could have gone all wrong. Barca is peering over the bridge's edge at the twisted rocks floor below. Oh crap, yeah, we could all be dead. Come on, this isn't the place to give Bovik another try. Small, pale orbs swing at you from deep crags in darkness. A brief inspection reveals that they're eggs. Skulkers, whispers Ditch, pulling one of the creatures free of its shell, stabbed through by his dagger. The stone hurler who joined you at the godstone looks upset by the dead thing. She darts between a few clusters, making scooping motions and nodding. Are you crazy? There's a lot of eggs! A leap of the mole squinting ahead in the distance. Makes my fine skin cool! He doesn't finish the sentence. Imagine countless more eggs in every direction, just outside. Uh, I'll allow the stone hurler to do whatever she seems to want to do. She finds a cluster of palm sized eggs and begins gathering them in her sling, nodding as if to say, This is fine. I'm not sure if, there, if it's more comforting or terrifying that she's unafraid. Nobody intervenes, so we leave the nest behind. You? <laughs> really? Well, uh, Dredge and Skulkers do cooperate, so the caravan stops to rest their feet and eat. The only good thing about this damn beacon we're, count we're walking around is there's no reason to hide a campfire. So screw me. Oh. Jumping on some burnt, burnt me. Conversation turns towards some of Kramer's war exploits and devolves quickly into rowdy de debate about who could beat who in a fight. Alright, how about Ditch and Bark? Gas green slowly. In a fair fight? Bark and his girlfriend, no question. Ditch bows and crosses his arms as everyone else laughs. I'll put my gold on full cow for almost any of you spin the milkmaids, he smiled. No, in a fight against a war, none of you have a chance. The ravens laugh. But who could hope to stand against the unkillable Kramer? Nobody yet, but I hope some someday to face down a Sunder. Does Kramer spark with? What about the Sunder Slayer? There's a long silence. What do you think, Sunder Slayer? Maybe you can take me? I wouldn't even need both arms. The response with the other response with the light. Now that's something I'll pay to see, Fulka says. But you know what I think? We need to get moving. The other grumble and roll their eyes, but soon you're back on the road.
Brambles rise ahead of you like gnarled hands reaching toward the sky, their fingers peppered with thorns. This was once a healthy forest, now just another obstacle. Through the branches lays a bear cleaning here, another there as another there, as if a fire had cleared half the forest before the darkness came. Over here we would have little choice but to pass through here. Going around with Castes. Uh, let's... Hmm. Boka, what's your good say this time? A tired head shake is telling. They'll use the trees so we can tell numbers or direction. They're not worried about losses. Once they start coming, I don't expect them to stop. Standing our ground is a sure way to be overrun, but we should go now before they really dig in. It was from one father. This is gonna suck. Uh... They caress before pushing or... Uh, there's some... Uh, yeah. You can already see them hoarding. Take a sparse or oatmeal in there and not getting any better. Even threatened revolt when she cuts the rest short. Only fit in. Warped creatures lay into the caravan from all sides. You ha hack desperately through heavy barrier and enemies both. Glancing quickly at the fighters at your back, you notice a hole in the rank. Someone's missing. A scream from the back forest sounds like Morgan. Each fallen creature is replaced by two more until you have no choice but to stand together and fight. Yeah, I think we will fight like this. Who's that? Yes, I like this. <laughs> Even though he nearly never is surrounded by any allies. But it works fine with him. No end in sight to these things. Can I move? Yep, I can. So I would like to put you over here. The only reason for him here is because he has 20 armor. Kill him just like that. Indeed! Nice. You, on the other hand, should help those guys. God damn it. So much willpower. No, 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 no. Nope. Eh. Attack him. At least he doesn't have any willpower. But then leave him alone. That would have been worse. Why can't you? Never mind. They are all hit anyway. This will end bad. Those two will be hit as well. This guy doesn't really matter. He has zero, so he's dead. He has zero hurt, so he's dead. Oh 
God damn it, don't. Oh. Seriously. Okay, that's <laughs> apparently that's fine. Um, okay, he's managing somehow, and I'm amazed that he does. Wasn't my intention. Hmm. Oh. Why are you doing on him? Is We are back. Now that's a whole lot better. Uh, I want you guys around. Can I move you? Yeah, I can. So let's stay close. As long as there's no... Oh, there's lots of them. Does anyone need healing? You need healing! <laughs> no, it just doesn't... It just doesn't work. Of course. Now he will. He requires healing. Physically. No. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> no, good more. Actually, though, <laughs> the best thing to do here is that. Thank you. 
doesn't matter. Should be able to get here. Yeah. No. Yeah. Get his armor down. Wait, you got hit? Yeah, you did. Who's next? That guy. Doesn't matter. I'm afraid of this. He's not really a threat. He should manage. It kind of works. He will be next, and he will get to them. In this round, hopefully, there's not another one. Uh. Sure. Actually, yeah. By nearly killing her. <laughs> Wait, what? No. No, 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 no. 
and let us know. If you god damn it. What are you doing? What are you doing? If you can heal her, then we are fine. Shield maiden. Yes. <laughs> Get them close. More like what? Let's get them all over here. I tr oh, I told the worst. I smart. Oh well. We do kind of need. Sure. healed so where are you you it's one confuse who can you confuse this guy I really hoped he would kill this guy or I'll just hit him because I mean now he's close <laughs> wasn't hit. Let's keep on throwing. This will end badly. After all, oh, it works now. It's another one. to keep them <laughs> hit by get get them hit by our stone singer and she can seriously since she can um poison Killing beside you. You could use one. No, need to rest. Damn it! 
don't move. Do your thing again. It'll work eventually. It's bad. <laughs> and I hate that. <laughs> no. Shame. Will it work now? Mm. Never mind. Thing. How is it possible for you to do so little? Oh, I guess he has twelve health left. Ten. Okay, he's dead. Can say that he's kinda dead. Now he can oh, you can do the thing. They are all poisoned. Good job. Very really good job. It's a shame that it doesn't stack, but it, if it was to stack for me, it should stack for my enemies. So. Oh, I'm glad it doesn't stack. Oh, no. Damn it. You can't get there. All because I broke myself. <sighs> that was long. <laughs> Large horn made of birch bark. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. I know there's lots of injuries. We need to rest. I get it. Nice though. 
Okay, but that's gonna be it for today. So now thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.